speak a little less about them now. I'm trying to begging you, right? Yeah, yeah. Dad, don't do that. Yeah, I just feel I don't know. I just yeah, they're like people now, and they're trying to figure out where they are in life. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I just feel like I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, you don't want you don't want their friends like uh, classmates finding your new special and realizing that you're who they're talking about. Right. Yeah. yeah. I have this one joke about them now about the younger one being a mean girl, Ooh. and it's this joke about. The, uh, she's this mean girl and I feel guilty about it because I, I made it and I feed it and I keep it alive <laughs> and, you mean the girl? <laughs> yeah Ow. and I'm trying to figure out if that's going to go in the special or not but now not that if, I said it on funny. your radio show I guess it's, don't you know, maybe it'll it. leak it's pretty funny yeah so I don't know but I am trying to speak a little less about them and more about other things so um, well also I think something that might be interesting to our listeners is the uh you did the show, uh, you hosted the show, The, the Marriage Ref, mm-hmm. for a couple seasons about 10 years ago. And yeah. that was a show produced by Seinfeld, who you're very uh, good buddies with as well. And uh, basically, you were it was couples that were, it was I forget exactly what it was, but what was the It was format? basically the married couples have fights that never end. Oh. And you need a third party to come in and listen yeah. to the fight and declare the winner, and that's the marriage ref. Were you, were you the ref? And I was the ref. Oh, really? I was the ref. And yeah. Who who was your warm up on the pilot? Um, I forget. Yeah, you know, there's <laughs> so <a> lot. many. <laughs> that's Thanks. right. When we when we did it out here with the guy from NBC, huh? Right when we did it out here, it was me. No, but I mean, when oh, we when shot, you shot at, the real show. Yeah, no, when we did the pilot out here. No, that was me. It was you in New York? <laughs> no, he You're me so here. Well, Ron, it's just here. amazing. Yeah, no, that was a test show. Yeah, so glad to so, know I have such an impression on you. <laughs> so, that was I mean, a long time ago. Did you? So, uh, do you remember any particular uh, uh, like crazy case out of all the people that were on the show? Yeah, I remember this one couple. They were a gay couple, and the one guy really didn't like it because he did warm up on the show, and the other guy didn't remember. <laughs> Are we talking about? <laughs> it was a big fight. No, but Tom, um, I remember watching that show, and I, I, those are the, those are one of the few shows where I, I remember screaming. I was like, "Come on, let the dude win! Let the dude win!" I know. If people did get passionate about, it. I was yeah. at Yankee Stadium once, and I was a guy yelled from behind. Up in the like in the middle of the game, goes, hey marriage ref, tell my wife she's wrong. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know your wife. And he goes, she's wrong. <laughs> Is she there? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I actually got a tweet today that said some woman said, uh, I still, uh, I still live my life by a lot of the uh, lessons that. Tom taught me on the marriage ref all those years ago. <laughs> because That's I still great. live my life by those rules. <laughs> yeah. That's great. It would have been great. fun to keep going, but, you know, TV. Hey, what do you think, what do you think, uh, is there a different pressure being married with a real family and try and keep a real life going and being in show business, or does it just seem natural and normal? I used to think that it was a bit of a disadvantage having a wife and family family mm-hmm. because you have to work so hard at both of those things yes. and i used to watch comics who just play video games and hang out and just roll in and the first thing they do is a spot at nine o'clock at night yep. and, and i used to think that those guys had it made yeah. but now at this point in my career like we've gone along i actually have flipped on that and the guys i can see that have the support of a wife and kids and some kind of stability and in the long run do much better. Yeah. It's the and those other ones are like they spin out and you know they have drug problems or they're chasing women yep. or there's there's, yep. there's other things that that start to get them because you're only thinking about yourself. So I think what seemed like a burden was actually a, a very positive thing. I, yeah. I think I agree with that. Yeah. And our friend George Wallace always used to tell me something. He goes, shoot a little higher than you think you can go, uh-huh. and you'll grow through it. Right, and right. And I think you're talking about one of those things where you grow through yeah. you grow through it. And it's like you make – you that's, finally end up making a lot more money than you thought you were. Yeah, but I was just going to say that's not to say that those single guys have a lot more. Those guys, if if they can keep it together, they're loaded. True. Yeah. I'm I'm spending like what 
I, I can't even say. Yes. I'm just stuttering. Yes. Just, yes. Just, yes. Just, yes. just school and dental work alone yes. has flattened me yes. out. Yes. <laughs> yes. But it's all right. We're, that's why we work. Yeah, but they keep you grounded, right? And then they keep you, they give you with support. the whole purpose of why it is that you do that, that you do. For sure. Well, like, I think it's more to draw from as an artist, though. I mean, you you have really more life that you're dealing with. That more yeah. People, you're trying to get things that other people can relate to so you have more life to relate to rather than yeah. video games and cocaine. Right. And, but know. let's be honest. They're really annoying. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's, I mean, right? Right? Carl? <coughs> baby, yeah. baby Carl? Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's like a rough day for me. I <laughs> We love you, Carl. Oh, thanks, Tom. Okay, well... Now that you're not a baby. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Still wears a diaper, though, but we won't get into that. So the book comes out what day? Uh, in you the middle of May. Day? If you go to TomPapa.com, it has all, those, all the details of okay. that and my tour and my podcast and all the other nonsense. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, um, anything else you guys want to throw at Tom real quick? Or no, Tom, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This was really great. Yeah, so um, uh, thanks again. To listen to, I'm still uh, mad about you not remembering. <laughs> I work my tail off for no I, money I'm still not convinced show. it was you. <laughs> 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 Until I see photos, I don't believe it. Well, you can find everything you need to know about Tom Papa at www.tompapa.com and about the Man Up Show at manupshow.net. And uh, till next time, our guest next week is a legendary host of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. And so, wow. uh, I don't think oh. you need the www anymore. You're right. You're right. I think, I think people got that. I know. It's, I'm, I'm, so, I'm very behind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the Unabomber. <laughs> but until next time, I'm Carl Kozlowski. And Tony Delgado. I'm Ron Pearson. <laughs> and uh, thanks uh, for manning up. Bye. 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 The Man Up Show was sponsored by Delgado Productions on AM870, The Answer.